Hi, this is David Langenberg from the University of Chicago, here to talk to you today about what is new in Grouper 2.2. Some of the highlights include a completely new UI with responsive design, skim provisioning, service tagging, assignment of integer IDs on all objects to assist with Unix GID as well as co-manage, security realms for searching subjects, a new security privilege for read and view, faulting now to none. Numerous optimizations, including work on legacy attribute migration, improved configurability, and representation of grouper privileges. Here we have the brand new grouper UI, featuring a responsive design, allowing it to remain extremely functional across a wide variety of devices. The new UI strives to be much more intuitive, allowing you to get more done with fewer clicks. Some of the new actions that are a lot easier to do are things such as joining a group. or adding a new member. Creating a new group is also a very easy task. A big button in the upper left hand corner allows you to choose where to create your group. You choose your folder, name your group, and click Save. Adding members again, very easy. Click the Add Member button and start searching for members you would like to add. Some of the other new features available in Grouper 2.2 include experimental support for skim provisioning. Provisions groups and memberships incrementally. There is currently no batch provisioning feature out for skim, and it also has the requirement that all subject IDs on both ends match. Service tagging is another new feature within Grouper 2.2. Scooper being a sophisticated access manager allows you to group a whole bunch of Grouper objects together under one service tag. This tag can then be assigned to the folders that contains the objects to bring them all together and allow you to view these things as a service. Grouper 2.2 now comes with integer assignments on all main Grouper objects. This allows you to manage Unix groups as well as groups and co-manage. Our configuration provides you with the ability to tailor your integer assignments so that they meet up with all your Unix group management needs. The subject API has also gotten an update. We now allow you to apply security to your JDBC subject sources. Example, authenticated users versus admin users will see different results when they search for subjects. Realm configuration stanzas are supported in the JDBC2 subject adapter and can be added to subject API calls. As I mentioned earlier, we now have default privileges for read and view that are quite different from what they were pre-2.2. To remind everybody, a view privilege means who can see a group, read privilege means who can see its members. In 2.2, our default for all new created groups is nobody can read or view. Before 2.2, everybody got to read and view groups. We thought you'd like to know. There are many new improvements under the hood. Most of the configuration files now use overlays. Java expression languages is available for all property values. All you need to do is dot append dot el config to the attributes key. Legacy attributes have been folded into the attribute framework and groupers internal privileges are now represented as groups. The original privilege and access interfaces have been removed. Just want to remind everybody that we have a brand new UI. Thanks for joining us today for this Grouper 2.2 overview. For more information, you may visit our website at www.internet2.edu slash grouper. You can also trust out the new UI at the Grouper Demo server at grouperdemo.internet2.edu. This is David Langenberg for the University of Chicago and the Grouper Project saying thanks again.